Learning to love myself unconditionally, a story of radical self-acceptance. Learning to love oneself unconditionally is a journey that many people embark on at some point in their lives. For some, it comes easily, while for others, it can be a long and arduous process. My own journey towards radical self-acceptance was a combination of both. Growing up, I was always aware of my differences. I was an introverted child who preferred spending time alone, and I struggled to fit in with my peers. I was also self-conscious about my physical appearance, and I often felt like I didn't measure up to societal standards of beauty. As I got older, these insecurities continued to manifest themselves in various ways. I became a people pleaser, always trying to make others happy at the expense of my own needs and desires. I also struggled with anxiety and depression, which made it difficult for me to see the good in myself and in the world around me. It wasn't until I started therapy that I began to understand the root of these issues. My therapist helped me realize that I had been conditioned to believe that my worth was based on external factors, such as my appearance or my ability to please others. She also helped me understand that these beliefs were not serving me, and that I needed to learn to love myself unconditionally if I wanted to find true happiness and fulfillment in life. So, I began the work of radical self-acceptance. It was not easy, and there were many setbacks along the way. But I learned to be kind to myself, to treat myself as I would a dear friend. I started practicing self-care, doing things that made me feel good and brought me joy. I also learned to set boundaries, to say no when I needed to, and to prioritize my own needs and desires. The more I practiced self-acceptance and self-love, the more I began to see the world around me in a different light. I stopped comparing myself to others and started celebrating my own unique qualities and strengths. I also began to see the beauty in others, and to appreciate the diversity of human experience. Today, I am far from perfect, and there are still moments when I struggle with self-doubt or negative self-talk. But I now have the tools and the mindset to move past those moments and to love myself unconditionally, flaws and all. And that is a gift that I wish for everyone to experience.